I still remember the first time I heard about Gold Rush Rally. That it was more than just driving cars through the country. Now I get it. It's something you need to live to understand. I have so many stories to tell. So many memories we share. Today, I know what true friendship is. What being a family is. This is who we are. This is our adventure. This is Gold Rush Rally. expecting from GRA? Well, we're team balls deep, so we're gonna go crazy, but uh, we're expecting an adventure of a lifetime across the country. It's crazy, it's madness, but a lot of fun. Madness. Madness. A lot of fun. Um, a lot of problems. Long drives. Long drives. Comfort. Good people. Good people. Comfort because we're an SUV. Yeah. Yeah. Right, baby. The greatest. It always starts the same way. The casual meet and greet. Gold Rush Rally style. We left the club soaked in champagne and a smile on our faces, knowing that it was just the beginning. If it was the World Series, it would start with the National Anthem. For the Daytona 500, it would be the fighter jets fly by. It's tradition. It's a ritual. For the Gold Rush Rally, this is ours. It's where the family is reunited. Where our passions connect. Where the fans breathe it in. And where the adventure begins. With over 100 cars and 200 participants, the adventure has reached a whole new level before we even take to the highway. But no adventure is worth pursuing without adversity. Ball deep. No ball deep. We haven't even been 30 minutes into the rally and we saw the Trump Aventador, the Borsteiner Huracan, and a few other cars get pulled over already. It's crazy. <laughs> We got pulled over, they said they got a complaint, but it's reckless driving. Yeah. Weird. Reckless driving? I don't know. Running I think from an officer. Running from an officer, I don't know. It wasn't me. <laughs> I don't know who it was, but it wasn't me. I'm sure they would have spotted you guys. Jesus. Hey guys, it's Olivia here. We're here with Sam and Sam. What up, go boys! You can't go on a rally without fart spray. What's the 
So this year for Gold Rush, I had an SV, but you know, to be in a rally, you really want you want the SV to be topless. You want to get you know put that ceiling off. You want to arrive. So we ordered one from Lamborghini, and it wasn't coming in in time for the rally. And they knew we were car number one. They know the importance of Gold Rush Rally. So what they did was they put it on a plane and they uh, flew it to me on Ferruccio Lamborghini's 100th birthday. Then they put us in a helicopter, helicoptered us onto the tarmac. I watched it come out of the nose of the plane. And up until midnight on the night before the rally, we did this unique design. It's a fantastic car and I didn't drive it once until the morning of the rally. So my first mile on it was in Gold Rush, and let's hope my last mile on it is not in Gold Rush. I love that we have drugs all over our car and we are the only people not getting pulled over. The loyalty to this event goes deeper than the drivers. The fans feel it just as much. We drove in to Washington, D.C. to a massive welcome. The first day was already over. One down. Eight to go. We're going to have a very exciting uh, day today. We are going to be headed off to Lynchburg, Virginia, and then from there we're going to be headed to C-Max Driveway, which is another 190 miles. We are in the state of Virginia. What does that mean? Right you on. go over 15 miles an hour, it's an automatic court appearance, and it's, uh, yeah, you'll, you'll go to jail. They're, they're oh. serious here. There's one, two, three, four, five cop cars now. I realize y'all going that fast. Now, are you sure we were going that fast? Because we're always at the back. I know, <laughs> and the back is the first ones I caught up with. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. All right. Hey, y'all be safe. Thank, Thank you. Guys Thank you. Jacksonville, Florida, and we were just on our way to South Beach to party last year when Ben Chen blew past us in his Veyron, and we realized the Gold Rush Rally was on the same road we were on. So we pulled over, waited for the rest of the crew, rolled on down to Provident Jewelry to meet everybody, and it was then, at that second, that I knew I'd had to be in Gold Rush Rally again. And here we are, almost a year later, so pumped. This is the most amazing experience of my life Man, by far.
uh, that was the best part. I got to take uh, Bradley, our combat combat wounded veteran, with us as a passenger, which they don't allow passengers to do it, but he was in there, he was buckled up, and he was stoked. It was pretty fucking awesome. Five hours into the drag session, with new rivalries and a single broken ride, it was time to call it a day. All right, guys, this morning we got a great drive for you. We're going to be meeting with the police department, and then we're going to be escorted along the tail of the dragon. As Jeb mentioned, this is a bucket list item. run the tail of the dragon. I wanted to be the tail of the dragon. Right here. Be the dragon. Like Bruce Lee. I'm Asian. You know, you notice I'm Asian. So be like Bruce Lee, the dragon. The tail of the dragon is 11 miles, 318 curves, and is known as the single best motorcycle and sports car road in North America, but also one of the most dangerous. Needs a rest. I'm okay. I'm okay. One, two, three. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm saying I feel weird talking on camera without my own Snapchat filter. I'm kind of used to it. Gonna but you're gonna you're gonna put it in yeah. right here, right? Yeah. Use the army one. Flash the car. Charger, not sure if it's a cop though. Cops have pulled out. The East Coast portion of the adventure came to a bittersweet end. Half pack up their cars to head to the West Coast, the others pack up and head home. Friends have to say goodbye. The family divided. Man, it was I had a good a couple blast, of days, man. It was a good blast. couple of days. Though. And I met some of the best people I've ever met in my life. Dude, I'm, I'm glad I got to meet oh, you. Oh yeah, bro. man, it's a pleasure. It's really a pleasure, man. So we take the good moments and shove them in our memories and carry on for now, knowing that it isn't the end and we will be together again. On the west side of the country, our other family joined the adventure. New rides to fill our convoy. And though our excitement never fades, fresh reinforcement helps fuel the passion. So a celebration was in order. I'm just the, the fuel delivery guy for Ben. This is the Bugatti fuel. Dinner inside the dealership 
was a great opportunity to remind ourselves of the bond of our crew and integrate those who are here for the first time. But you can't prepare for what comes next. So we had a day for the participants to drive up Pikes Peak. We had all of Pikes Peak blocked out for us for just the Gold Rush participants. No other public was allowed on the road. And I think everybody was pretty amazed. At over 14,000 feet, Pikes Peak is best known as America's mountain. 19 miles of highway to the clouds brings you to Colorado's most famous peak, up the road through the clouds. Eventually, you surpass them. Then, it's brisk, clear sky and snow-sprinkled treetops. This is fucking crazy, man! That was the highlight. Pikes Peak was the highlight of the rally so far. Everybody who did the East Coast, they missed this. Look around, 360. This is nuts. Yeah! Top of the mountain, we love it. Love it. The backdrop, the scenery, the snow-capped mountains, it's just amazing. Wonderful, man. It was intense. Plenty of snow, a little bit of ice, a little slip and slide. The way down is much more treacherous. This is what Gold Rush is all about. Just another day. Just another once in a lifetime experience. Something that you will never forget for the rest of your life. You don't go through something like this without meeting new people. Call them friends or fans, or brothers. They bring fuel to our fire. It's the logo in the front, and our route in the back, oh, and it's got a little light. So I wanted to give it to you so you can put it in your room, right? Yeah, you like that? Awesome. Oh my God. Okay. You installed that yes. weeks ago just for today? No, no, last oh, night. <laughs> last night. <laughs> this guy's an asshole. <laughs> Time. 
I was like, okay. How much? Uh, he said 103. But he got the make and model wrong of my car. He put Lamborghini Diablo, so I'm sure. Uh... <laughs> Every year, the rap game elevates. This year is no different. The Taylor Lynn Foundation came through with their superhero themed rides. Those heroes, along with the rest of us, set out to take on some of the most beautiful roads this country has to offer. The next 200 miles would bring us to the city of sin, Las Vegas. Vegas is like our second home. It's the only stop that has been on the Gold Rush map each and every year. Because this is where crazy happens. You know what they say, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Driving the brand new Pagani Huayra BC, and it's a uh, like our brand new car. It's gonna be limited, just 20 examples plus five prototypes. And we are here at the Gold Rush Rally 2016, the greatest, because uh, for us, let's say it's a pleasure to participate in such an event. We we we, uh, we had the chance to meet a lot of friends, some amazing cars, <laughs> wonderful parties. So yeah, it's it, it really is an experience. GMG, we're here on uh, behalf of our race team and we are showcasing one of our R8 Audi uh, Ultra LMS race cars. Doing some hot laps for charity for the Taylor Lynn Foundation. Raised a bunch of money here by auctioning off laps for guests and participants from Gold Rush to get a lap in a half million dollar car that is incredibly fast. And then we also have the Novatech N Largo Huracan, first in North America, wide body kit with all the GMG suspension and exhaust upgrades that's just been released today to the public. So I think everybody had a great time. Donuts. Oh yeah. I want to thank Sam from Black and White Rental for all these expensive Maybach donuts. <laughs> so I guess the Maybach does slide. That was funny. That was cool. There is nothing like waking up with the knowledge that today will be a good day. The eighth and final day doesn't come with sadness, because all good things eventually come to an end. It's the grand finale. How about doing it in possibly the most prestigious car? 
Eleanor. Depart for LA. We'll see you all downtown a little later this afternoon. 5 p.m. awards. This is a true Eleanor, a true Eleanor continuation car. This is Eleanor 5, E5, the first blue and white Eleanor ever produced. It is a beautiful car. It has a Coyote 5 liter engine, a TKO 5 speed transmission. It runs and drives just like all these new cars. We're staging up. We're going to have a police escort that's taking us downtown to Chuck Hearn where all the cars are going to be on display and we look forward to seeing old fans out there too. We're about to go to downtown LA. With a sick police escort like a bunch of motorbikes coming in this uh, greatest stuff. Uh, This is where it all ends. For us, it's like winning a race, a championship. It's something we need to celebrate. Celebrate this wonderful experience we just lived together. Tell you, for me, it was all about the experience sharing together, the camaraderie, the brotherhood that you form with everybody. It was fantastic. It was awesome. I'll do it next year for sure. It's a lot of fun driving through these roads and all these cars get together. It's, it's hella fun, man. Gold Rush is great. Car ran flawlessly. The route was great. Ramin and the company did a great job. Shake and bake. The drives were the best. The people were the best. The cars were the best. Everything was absolute perfection. It was great. It was a lot of fun. We had no crashes, which is a plus. One ticket for me, lots of tickets for other people, but definitely be back again next year. It's fun. Amazing, amazing. We had a great time. Lots of new friends, lots of fast driving, lots of nice cars, events. It's been, it's been amazing. It was one of my best life experiences with supercars and great people and great clubs. Amazing. Thanks to the organizers. It's, it's been so memorable and I'm so sad it's done. Like parking here, you could feel like, what am I going to do tomorrow? What am I going to do next week? So thanks again. Thanks for the wonderful experience. Gold Rush. my friend yeah. special yeah. gift yeah. I just want to say we're all family here thank you very oh much God. you guys are fantastic we keep saying it because it's true we're family what started as a small group of friends has grown year after year we've welcomed newcomers and built unbreakable bonds Nowhere else will you find total strangers spawn deep friendships in a single week. It's hard to imagine from the outside, and somehow hard even to believe once you've done it. But once you breathe it in, 
Once you've seen what we've seen, you can't deny it. All you can do is be grateful. And so, we're done for another year. Now there's a full year to remind ourselves of these amazing moments and count down until we make more. This is what the Gold Rush Rally is all about. It's what we are all about. Till then, my friends, I say just wait till next year. Yeah, next year. And that, did you know this year we had the first openly gay team in Gold Rush? I'd like to introduce Team Pavo right here. Hello! <laughs> Can you guys tell the car in front of us how gay they are? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, feel free, let them know. Come on, bro, get out of here, stop! <laughs> <laughs> the seat is good for me. Let me touch it. Come on. Yep. And you said? Chris. My name is Chris. After you said my name is Chris, she goes, What type of car do you drive? <laughs> Get off me! <laughs>